lesson number eight. Keep moving, keep low, keep quiet, and keep alert. What's up, everybody out there? It's your boy, Danny, aka Casual Collector, here with another Zombie Survival Guide by Max Brooks. And I think I have one more left. I think I have one more left to show. It's kind of messed up. All those cows and whatever the heck they are getting killed by the zombies. It's a lot of potential food gone to waste. Once your stronghold gets taken over, you gotta keep moving. You gotta keep low. Quiet. And alert. Alright, but you guys aren't here to take lessons from me from zombie survival. Let's get into my comic haul. This is, um, I'm starting off with a couple of, uh, local comic shop pickups. And then some swap meet finds, swap meet flea market finds that, uh, I was super stoked about until I saw somebody's video, somebody pulled, I think it was you, Vin Crew, pulled a Iron Man 55 a buck and just made my haul feel pretty petty like nothing all right but anyway uh, I love that haul by the way all right so this is a uh, uh, Batman Superman or Superman Batman number 13 Wonder Girl I mean Supergirl Michael Turner cover this book is pretty and M in my opinion don't see anything wrong with it and I got it for 325 the lady at the counter this is the local comic shop that uh that I tell you guys kind of overprices their stuff and you know you don't really find any anything good there luckily I found this one and she was like oh oh I didn't know we have this uh she was like this shouldn't have been priced this low such a good book yeah, I mean it's not a key or anything, but it's nice to have found it in the wild. Uh, Alpha Flight number twelve. I wanted this one. I had put this in my uh, want list from the app that I have, uh, CLZ Comics, and. I wanted it just for the cover, really. But I'm going to read it since it's a special double sized issue. Damn, that shit must be big. Not really, but that's cool. And this one that I found um, Hulk number 400. Uh, I'm going to be on the hunt for the first leader. But I really like this one because. I've seen it at the other local comic shops and other places and they all have the uh, the orange instead of white. Everywhere else is orange and that just looks really weird to me. So I just never really liked the cover. And then I saw this one mixed in between the other orange ones and I was like I didn't even know this existed. So obviously I have to pick this up. So five bucks. Uh, four dollars more than I would have rather spent on this comic on this issue I don't think there's anything really key about it if there is you guys let me know you know hit me up tell me about it but I really like the the cover in white in white it just looks really badass super 90s cover right here crystally leader Hulk ghost of the past so Happy I got it. I was like, yeah, cool. Snagging that one. I passed up on it last time that I went, but I picked it up this time. Um, I have no idea what this book is. Uh, the dude had said it was uh, 12 for 10 bucks. This is the swap meet. Uh, 12 for 10. And then he just grabbed a random book. He was like, here, 
I'm tossing this in. So, cool. I was fine with that. I was like, all right, yeah, I'll take it. Free book. Uh, Greg Land, Greg Land cover. I see this book going for like 10 bucks on eBay. I don't know if it's a key or what it is or what's going on with it, but uh, the ones that I picked up, Supergirl, Power Girl, I was like, yeah, that looks pretty cool. Uh, don't think it's a key. Don't think it's a super. Oh, Delgado. Hey, should have got him to sign it. I uh, don't think it's a super, uh, super sought after issue or anything. But for a buck or for 80 cents, of course, I'm going to pick it up. Steel, number one. Um, I know it's not his first appearance, and, but I had actually contemplated picking this one up over at uh, that comic shop that I don't like to go to, same one that I just did the other hauls, uh, but I found this one at the dude's uh, 12 for 10, so that was one of them. I was super happy to find this one, The Little Mermaid. Uh, my daughter loves the Little Mermaid, and we have her into all the Disney princesses and stuff. So that was cool. I found it, and I was like, "Yes, it's not near mint, but it's a uh, maybe low near mint because there's some issue down here at the bottom. You have to see that. Boom, ugly, ugly. But I love the cover. I was like, "Oh, that's cool." So if she ever starts collecting, hopefully this is one that will be near and dear to my daughter. Uh, the official Legion of Superheroes Index. Uh, I think I mentioned in the last one, I really like collecting these. Um, you know, obviously it has some condition issues right here. But, I don't know too much about the Legion of Superheroes, so I'm going to look stuff up right here. See if there's any first appearances or what not check that out alpha flight number 13 um i was on the hunt for this one and i was gonna pick it up at that other uh local comic shop but glad i held off got it for 80 cents Let's see here at that uh at that vendor seller whatever they call the those people boom alpha flight number 17 this is a cover swipe from the X-Men. I don't remember the issue, which I also want in my collection. Um, this one was also another book that I was going to pick up at the local comic shop that I don't like going to that much. But, luckily I found it here for a buck. And it's actually in better condition than the other one was. And Well, this one was $0.80. Cents. The other one was, I believe, $7. So, yeah. Saved a little change there. Picked up the Alpha Flight number 51. First Jim Lee art. And happy about it. Super happy about it. 80 cents. I don't know if they knew that this was the first Jim Lee art. Uh, I don't think it goes for that much. Maybe, maybe 8 bucks, 9 bucks. I believe one of the comic shops that I like to go to, that I actually like to go to, um, he had it for, I believe, 12 or 13, something like that. I don't know how much it's going for, but 80 cents, uh, very fine and near mint copy, snagged it, even though Vin Crew, he had one, and like, he was like, I also picked up, uh, these other issues, and kind of just whatever issues, just to mask the fact that I found this Iron Man 55, I was like, what? That's, that's a fresh Jim Lee, dude, like. That's one that I was proud that I found. And he's like, ah, whatever. Thought that was funny. Uh, Shade, the Changing Man. I don't know if there's anything going on with this character. And I don't know if it's holding up any value. I know it was kind of starting to get hot for a bit. But 80 cents. I held off. I was like, oh man, this comic's going to start going up. I should probably get it. No, 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 no. Waited 80 cents. Happy with it staying in my collection I think uh, Quasar number one uh, I just got them down there 
Greg Capullo cover. So happy to have this. Near mint. Pretty near mint. And the final two that I got there. I was super stoked. Super, super stoked. Boom. Amazing Fantasy number 15. Uh, 80 cents each. This one has tiny, some like blah, whatever issues. The other one's pretty near mint, like super hard near mint. Uh, for a while, these were going for 60 bucks and up, 50 bucks and up, stuff like that. And then they started dying off little by little. I believe you could get them for like 30 bucks now. 30 bucks around that price, something like that. So I was like, ah, whatever. I'll pass, I'll pass. I kept passing on it and then I started regretting it. I was like, oh man, I probably should have picked that up. I uh, can't find too many on eBay anymore. Blah, blah, blah. Boom. Two of them in the wild, 80 cents each. Awesome find. I was super stoked. I was like, oh man, this is like finding 100 bucks. So happy, super happy. And then, uh, oh, if you guys don't know, this is the first appearance of the new Hulk, Amadeus Cho. So that was super dope. And finally, uh, after I, after we passed something up that I was kind of upset by for my daughter, we had passed up some uh, some Disney toys that that were pretty cheap. I went to go grab money. By the time I came back, I took a little longer than I should have, but by the time I came back, the dude sold them to somebody else. He had like a lot of them and just sold everything to that other person. So, I was like, well, let's see if this lady still has this thing. The Hulk, the Incredible Hulk Guide. So, the Incredible Guide, Tom DeFalco, DeFalco, and... I like it because it kind of goes with my uh, Iron Man one that I have. This one kind of gives a little more information than the Iron Man one. That's why I knew that uh, that one book was the first appearance of Hulk 2099 and not the first appearance of... I already forgot what that other Hulk is in the future. But super cool. Uh... I was reading through this while I was on base one time, and I was just really happy. I was like, oh man, this is cool. Super cool. Boom, there you go. Hulk 2099. So, it came with this, uh, with this dust cover, dust sleeve, the dust jacket, whatever it's called. But it was pretty dirty. It's actually still pretty dirty. So I took it off. I'm going to clean it. I'm going to see if I can clean it up a little bit. Just like I have it with the book. I like having this stuff together. Even though my Iron Man isn't like that. I have my Iron Man loose. Alright. But that's it. Uh, for my next video. Um, getting my stuff together. And what's taking me long is editing. The things. Uh, Comic Con. All my Comic Con stuff. Maestro. That's the dude that I was talking about. Um, I'm getting my Comic Con stuff. Edited put together it takes me a while because i don't know how to do that stuff I'm not tech savvy i just like doing videos like this boom and uploading them there you go enjoy but i'm gonna do that so it's taking me a little bit and i'll just talk about the comic con stuff on that video so with that i have one more haul left before my comic con one or i might do it after whatever and hope you guys enjoy like comment subscribe Thank you guys for the love. I'm enjoying seeing your guys' stuff. Hopefully you guys are enjoying seeing mine. Oh, that's cool. The Defenders. We'll leave it off here with the Defenders since they just dropped their little teaser trailer at Comic-Con.